changing uh, this time and uh, uh, the change was uh, if you look between the initial state and the state after many hours you see that the activity change per weight of the catalyst and the activity change uh, per surface area is different so during this morphological change, during the reaction time, obviously the specific surface area has changed again, pointing to morphological uh, things. Now, uh, how can we... Uh, I, I like this picture. Um, again, from the Schlegel uh, group, you see uh, a particle of magnesium oxide and you see this little cubic structure we always draw since our early days in chemistry. So, but you also see steps and you see um, um, uh, corners. So, what could be the simplest model a quantum chemist could come up for magnesium oxide is this one because just two layers, Mg9, O9, has a lot of steps, has a lot of corners. So we take this model, and we see how far we can explain um, um, what we have observed so far. So the first thing we do, we absorb methane on this, and what we find is without a very high barrier, and with a little uh, endothermicity, we split heterolytically the methane. So we get a proton at oxygen, and we get a Grignard type species with methylate on magnesium. Um, so this is fundamentally different uh, from the radical type of um, uh, mechanism um, we have discussed before. There is a little problem. To get the methyl radical out, you need a lot of energy. And after you have done this, but after you have done, if you have taken out the methyl radical, you leave an electron in the system. Now, uh, uh, just as a summary up to this point, so the heterolytic splitting is another way of activating methane as compared uh, to the radical situation. And um, this is uh, not new. Our RVD for tomorrow has um, uh, published a review paper where he has shown that uh, this also happens on, for example, on aluminium oxide. So this is, um, in principle, a, a known um, effect. Um, the question is always on, uh, on which oxides, under which conditions, um, is going to happen. Now, uh, I already mentioned that it is difficult to uh, get this methyl radical out. It needs a lot of energy. So what can be done? Let's first look at another um, uh, situation, how you uh, create a species which is left behind after you have taken out the methyl radical. And this is a special type of defect sites which you can create on magnesium oxide if you absorb a hydrogen atom. This is an, um, a single electron um, um, uh, which sits on magnesium and uh, while the proton uh, sits on the oxygen. So you have created a magnesium plus, basically. Now, it's also known if you take this uh, surface site and you absorb now oxygen, oxygen strongly binds on this um, surface site, as you see here. And um, what happens then is that this electron moves to the oxygen and forms a superoxygen species. And this is my message. The active species is probably this um, 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 uh, superoxo species, if you take the two reaction energies together, you find that this is a favorable process. So what did they learn? We see a completely different role for the catalyst as opposed to redox catalyst with transition metal, with redox active catalyst. The catalyst is really only providing the surface 
on which then the both reactants, methane and oxygen, are exchanging the electron. So, we have here um, um, a, a completely different mechanism. Um, this heterolytic activation of methane opens a new pathway, and uh, there is no direct methyl production, but methyl production is only there if also oxygen is present. Um, there are also, quite recently, there, there is a computational paper where people try to explain what uh, Leon Leffert and his colleagues have observed for yttrium stabilized zirconia. They also see if they put methane and oxygen close uh, to this oxygen defect site, they will end up with uh, a superoxide and a methyl radical. So this seems to be a more general case. Also, if we talk about superoxide formation and having this electron around, we may think about transition metal doping of oxides. And um, uh, here we looked specifically at doping of calcium oxide with molybdenum because this has been studied by Hario Freund and his colleagues experimentally. And what we find here, if we absorb oxygen on a pure calcium oxide, the binding energy is low and it stays an oxygen molecule, while uh, if we absorb it on a molybdenum doped calcium oxide, an electron moves from the molybdenum from the dopant to the oxygen, forms a superoxide which binds more strongly and um, has this uh, longer or, or distance typical of a superoxide. So there is superoxide around and um, we wanted now to have a closer look in the reaction mechanism when we have both methane and oxygen on the surface. So, um